Visual fidelity in video games can be serious business, whether you're going for a highly realistic style or gorgeous aesthetics. While some games succeed off the back of gorgeous landscapes, character models, and animations, others manage to deliver excellent weather effects. And there are some games that go further beyond with their depiction of raging storms. Let's take a look at 15 such games with the most extreme storm effects. Just Cause 4 how could we not mention Just Cause 4, especially when the entire hook of the game is its extreme weather? Tornadoes emerge naturally, swallowing up nearby foes and debris, thunderstorms will strike down enemy helicopters and a stray Rico if he's caught unaware, and sandstorms will be rough, coarse, irritating, and so on. It'd be amazing to sit back and watch the destruction unfold if you weren't at risk of being destroyed yourself. Red Dead Redemption 2 Rockstar has been and always will be a stickler for detail. The weather system in Red Dead Redemption 2 is no exception, starting off with some pretty hefty looking snowstorms up in the mountains. Eventually you'll run into overcast regions with appropriately moody skyboxes, dark clouds with lightning rumbling within, and actual lightning bolts striking the surface. Careful not to get too close though, since you can be killed by lightning. Battlefield 5 Despite its many, many shortcomings, Battlefield 5 had some nice weather effects, which extends to the storms one could encounter. Occurring dynamically in multiplayer, it's quite something to load into the battle through extreme winds and rain while lightning strikes in the distance. It can also affect one's piloting of planes, though you probably won't die to a stray bolt. Probably. Forza Horizon 4 Fortune Island Dynamic weather is already a thing in Forza Horizon 4, but Fortune Island takes things to the extreme. Along with the treacherous terrain, there's copious rain and lightning storms to make things even more difficult. There's also, on a less extreme note, Aurora Borealis. Yes, at this time of year, at this time of day, localized on an island and you can indeed see it. Assassin's Creed Odyssey it's interesting how, despite the series being so old, Assassin's Creed Odyssey was the only title to have a full weather system that was also dynamic. Sometimes fog will gather in places, other times rain will accompany you on camp raids and battles with overwhelming mercenaries. Sailing out into the ocean during a storm is also majestic, with lightning in the distance as you lay waste to your enemies. Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown these might not be the most realistic looking storm effects, but the lightning bolts in Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown are both pretty and forgiving. They'll strike your plane if you get close enough, causing the HUD to fluctuate and one's vision to distort. Flying through a storm cloud and seeing the flashes on your plane drives home that danger even more. Batman Arkham Knight how in the world did Rocksteady Games get Batman Arkham Knight to look so good on consoles while absolutely borking the PC release at launch? Rain will congregate in puddles, cause metallic surfaces to glisten, and even dampen cloth. That's not even talking about the lightning and storm clouds off in the distance. The weather effects are just one part of the stellar visuals, but they add so much to the mood. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt still looks pretty damn good, despite its age, and that extends to its weather effects. Sometimes, especially when advancing time forward, you may find the skies becoming overcast. This means the trees swaying with the wind as the rain falls, but you might also see the clouds grow dark as lightning courses through the sky. It's almost enough to excuse Geralt's constant muttering about the rain. Rhyme Unlike many games on this list, Tequila Works Rhyme employs an animated style. Still, its most gorgeous sights are something to behold, especially when traveling in the rain. On top of little ripples being seen on the ground, rain will drip down surfaces and even congregate in small puddles on edges. Stalker, Call of Pripyat. Speaking of older games with stellar storm effects, GSC Game World Stalker, Call of Pripyat is another excellent example. Perhaps the best part about these storms is witnessing them at night. Everything is pitch black and it's all you can do to make out the downpour before you. Then lightning strikes and illuminates the landscape for a brief moment. It's fairly haunting, reinforcing the dark unknown that awaits. Death Stranding Rain and snow and hail by extension are more than just hindrances in the world of Death Stranding. They also contribute to the degradation of packages because of timefall. Of course, when traveling through a snowstorm, you'll still find yourself struggling to maintain visibility while battling against the winds. Rainstorms are slightly more manageable, 
though a chiral lightning strike can suddenly materialize out of nowhere and freak you out. Gears 5 Extreme conditions are nothing new for the Gears of War series, but Gears 5 goes overboard in the best way possible. More varied environments means we get to see Kate and Dell pushing through heavy snowfall and lightning storms as ice shards fall around them. Just when you travel to the desert and think that things will get better, boom, a wind flare strikes which means huge dust storms and even more lightning. It's pure insanity and we love it. Metro Exodus once again, when you talk about series with attention to detail, including stellar weather effects, the Metro games come to mind, and once again, 4A Games outdoes itself with the effects seen in Metro Exodus. When a thunderstorm rolls in, it starts with light rain before developing into a downpour with heavy winds. Visibility goes for a toss, and it's not long before lightning strikes. Keep in mind that this is later on, the game actually starts off with a hefty blizzard because this is the future and life is truly a struggle. Drive Club Race through Scotland on a rainy day and you'll see puddles gathered on the road with mist sprayed as cars hit them. Lightning is understated, but seeing the track grow progressively darker adds even more to the atmosphere. Special credit goes to the post-launch dynamic weather setting in this regard. If more extreme weather is your thing, then don't worry. You'll still see a healthy amount of snowstorms, lightning bolts, and volumetric fog in other settings while playing Drive Club. Uncharted 4 A Thief Sent Say what you will about Naughty Dog's gameplay formula, but its production quality is top tier. This is obvious when Nathan and Sam are caught out at sea during a storm, leading to a shipwreck and the two being separated. From there, it's a painful trek for Nathan in the constant downpour and harsh winds to say nothing of the lightning and thunder. As the player seeks shelter, the rain will splash on foliage and rocks, spraying mist and making surfaces slippery, providing an insane amount of detail for what's essentially just a six to seven minute exploration and platforming sequence. And that wraps it up. If you like what we are doing, please consider subscribing to our channel. And don't forget to switch on the bell notification icon. That way you will never miss out on any of our videos.